Hey, Bobby, what's going on, big fella? How you feeling, man? What's, what's happening? Yo, can you can you hear us all right, though? Are you crisp on your side? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. I call you as a bitch motherfucker, but you, you better... I wonder if you, how, how delayed is it? I know that. That ain't that happening. Shit come, that shit better come in right away, motherfucker. Like, hold on. Baby. Anyway, I'm so glad this, this, this game fucking ended, because I was like, yo, okay, this is beat time. But it... it it was only it was only 16 8. 16 8. 16 nothing. I like halftime, a little after half. So like, so like, yo, the game was, although like we were dominating them and it, they weren't really moving the ball, it's still a close game. All it takes is like a fumble, a special teams, and Washington was back in it, but golly, and I'm bringing this up because yo, how y'all feel about that interception that Josh threw today? You know, when the arm punt happened against the Jets in week one, mm -hmm. at first glance, I'm like, okay, it was an arm punt. But then I'm like, you know, you don't really want to give them any type of momentum. And I kind of felt the same way this time. Like, yes, I mean, it was a punt, you know, it, it was inside the 10-yard line. But I didn't want to give them any momentum. So I don't know. I mean, I had mixed feelings about it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it. the part that I hate is it, it just, it makes Josh Allen look not that good you know stat wise we want our guy to look mvp like Facts. that's not gonna look good on the numbers and on ig i start calling them punt punt-ception punt like <laughs> punt i got a name for that <laughs> yeah I, I mean, let me tell you man if you look at the context I, real quick it was third and 20 right it was like okay you know we're probably gonna punt here anyways and i would I would rather you want to go. That's who? The That's what. This is what I hate. Why? That's the mentality I hate. Oh, we're probably gonna punt anyway. What do you mean? I mean, it's third and twenty, big fella. Like and? what plays normally work on third and twenty? How many times have we he made on third and twenty? But again, he listen. It was a one-on-one -on -one play. Gabe, he just didn't make a play. To who? So it, it wasn't like it was a bad, you know, decision because he kind of had to take that shot. But it was, you know, it just didn't thing, though, he didn't have to take that shot. We're up 16 nothing. What are you taking that shot for? Just take the freaking underneath and call it a so day. Check it down and punt. So it's, yes. a punt. it's a punt at the end of the day, though. What happened? It ended up being a punt at the end of the day. Right. So it's but, like, but was it a your, bad decision? Give your, guy, give your guy a chance on the underneath because shit happens. People miss tackles. All of a sudden, is first down. You really and think we momentum, to... but you said it. You said it best too because you don't right. want to give that ball up because now it gives them momentum. Oh sure. shit, got the ball back now. All right, guys, we got an we got an opportunity now. No man, don't give no goddamn opportunity. Don't give no opportunity. Oh, I hate that man. Punception. Not gonna use Bobby's it's term, a man. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck that punception, man. I hate that shit. If you don't have to take the damn shot, don't take the shot. But you why not? Though? That's what Josh does, though. Josh does that on a regular. Josh and that's my problem. You don't need to. Now. Doesn't need to. It's like he's like, it's like, like you said last week, he's like he gets bored. He's like, all right, I'm digging and dunking, I'm digging and dunking. Let me just take one shot. Just one shot. I, I need to exercise this arm because if I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to rust up a little bit. I don't you know, know what he's thinking. Realized, you know what I have realized though? So, as far as his shots, it seemed like he's trying to be calculated somewhat now, right? Because a lot of his shots is going towards the sidelines. I don't know if you guys noticed that, right? So, it's like, He's not trying to take the shots now in the middle of the field. So it's something to monitor for sure. I think he played a pretty good game because I think the defense was was kind of taken away a lot deep, as you know, a lot of defenses are running against Josh Allen now. Yeah. So he was he was kind of taking what was open underneath. And I mean, heading into the game, I thought that uh the commanders, like their deep defense, I thought was a weak spot. That they could exploit, and he eventually did with that long touchdown. I don't, I don't like to see him throw that pick. But I'm, it's just not a good look. Yeah. I don't think it matters. It you know, in the game, I don't think it really matters. It's just not a good look. If you guys are tuned in, watching the barbershop, we're just chopping it up a little bit before we get right into the mess. Episode three of the barbershop. Oh, yeah. We just uh, finished up mopping up on aisle four. The commanders smacking them mess. cheeks. <laughs> commanders, man, we clapped them cheeks today, uh, and uh, it wasn't fun, man. Sa Yo, let me let us get right into it, man. Sam Howell, was this one of those games where 
he's that dude, but you just got to give him time because he needs to learn. Every quarterback, he needs to have one of these games. Josh Allen has had them. I mean, heck, he had one just, I mean, two weeks ago. But like in a young career, are you still encouraged by, if you're a Commanders fan, are you still encouraged by Sam Howell with what you saw today? Yo, I said it on stream. This game for Sam Howell was one of them games where he's questioning even playing quarterback in the NFL, big fella. Oof. That's how dominant mm -hmm. we were. Nine okay. sacks, four interceptions. Like, you didn't know what you were doing. So if I'm a Commanders fan, I'm listen, I'm questioning everything because I thought Sam Howell was something, but now I was like, wait a minute. Well, I'll tell you right now, man, these Commanders fans are hyping him up like he's the next – the big the big deal and him against the Broncos was it Broncos they played last week he you know marched them back against the Broncos and and the Broncos let this this guy just light them up I don't know what the hell the Broncos are doing defensively they're usually a pretty good defensive team which I don't get but nonetheless um just like Pierre said man like to the point where like yo am I can I still play this game it, it actually made me feel that way it's like a little bit part of me was like yo like is this guy if they bench him it's a wrap like you can't go back for that. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hold on to it. And now Eric Bieniemy being the head coach, that's not his guy. If he's really gonna be part of this organization, or he's eventually gonna take over as a head coach, who knows? Because the way Ron Rivera is going right now, he might he might not be looking at uh, no, gonna be his team true. going exactly. forward. So they might give it to Bieniemy. Bieniemy ain't sticking with no damn how. That's for sure. But that's Bobby's boy <laughs> coming from UNC. So you talk on that, Bobby. Nah, to be honest, I mean, I, I really don't know much about him. I never watched him that much in college. But, I mean, kind of like what Pierre said. I mean, if you're if you're a Washington fan, you better hope he comes back. It's going to be hard. That's that's a game where it's like your mental might be gone. Facts. That's an EJ Manuel, yeah. oh, snap. I didn't, you know, I lost my confidence type, type game. Like, <laughs> That was a yeah. dominating as game right there. Oh, it's 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 discouraging because the old line just gave up. The running backs are, are, are trying to make a play. They're fumbling. Sam Howell. I think the biggest one was when he gave AJ Epinesa that pick. <laughs> he literally <laughs> gave it to him. At that point, you're like, "Yo, coach, Yo, take, okay. me to, coach take me out." I ain't. Yeah. My, my head's not there. Coach is like, sit your ass back in there. You put us in this mess. You're going to yeah. finish this shit. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Yo, that was, Howell, yo. Howell was begging to come out. When you do a play like that to AJ Panessa, man. Yo, man, I mean, you shout out to Sean McDermott, man. Sean McDermott has been dialed in the last three weeks, and this was a masterful performance. Listen, you're talking about a historic performance today. Like, historic, big fella. It was dominating. So, huge shout out to McDermott on this one. Yo, is yeah. so okay. Hold on, Bob. What do you feel? I listen. I need to know. Is do you feel like there's a difference now between what McDermott's been doing the last three weeks with what Frazier did, or are they are they kind of somewhat similar to how we've always started off the season, or is there something different about this group? That's tough to say. I don't know if I have an answer to that. I previously, I think one of the other weeks, I did say that it looks very similar. It's tough to say because I mean, you have a couple different guys like. Leonard Floyd, he's been a pretty good impact on the edge. You have Bernard, you know, that's – we got to get into Bernard because he's coming up. You know, that's that's different than Edmonds. You have Christian Benford. You know, so the, the personnel is a little different. So I, I it's hard to say. I mean, what are you trying to say? You trying to say something about Frazier? No, nah, not even. Just I'm that's just like – it. <laughs> it's like it's like you got to give, like, McDermott his, his, his like, you know, his praise because like fam oh, like of course he's got these guys dialed in these boys are dialed in now, I, now with, with, I think the difference if anything is that he's actually able to get guys to actually you know make the plays right so it's like you know he's having people that's that are actually executing like leonard floyd it, yo our d line looked dominant today and you know we don't you don't normally expect that but then you got bernard back there who's kind of you know surveying everything and and doing his you know, they kind of try to show the the uh the kickly type thing. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. That graphic right? was nice. So, yes, I mean, huge fan. Um, I got Ed Oliver. I mean, Ed Oliver is consistently great. Yo, he's been solid. He's been solid, man. You know? um, that's a big difference. First. I, I got to, I don't know if you guys, I, I don't know if you guys have signed 
this this paper here. I just got to make sure. Did you sign yours yet, Pierre? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get my paper. Hold on. Yeah. I'm about to sign mine right now. Bobby, you don't want to get... They gotta actually sign that shit on on, and then permanent markers. As a matter of fact, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, listen, right, my envelope is here. I, I'm yep. about to lick that shit up and, and just send that shit in because right now the apology letter that needs to go to Terrell Bernard. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fan, the fan mail that this brother's gonna be getting, it needs to be go. It needs to go to him ASAP because Facts. three games straight he's led the team in tackles. I don't know if you guys even know that. Three games straight he's been the leading tackler. I think he had 11 last week. He had 11 the first week. Then he had, I think, 10, 10 or 9 last week. And then he had 7 today. Fam. He's balling. It's, and, it, and it dawned on me. And I mean, it, I, I know everybody's been talking about it, but it just dawned on me. It was like, we get it. This is a passing league. It's a passing league, right? And dinosaurs like me that still believe in a run game and that still believe in your, your, your big... I mean, 5'11", 220 back. I mean, that could pound the rock 25 times a game or whatever. I still believe in that. I still love that. But, like, we all know we're in a passing league. And McDermott's like, yo, fuck it. We're not doing this whole getting Jack Campbell to come to the Bills. Like, it's not working. It's not going to work out that way. Tremaine Edmonds, it was cool. 6'5", 250. Yeah, say it again. 6'5", 250. 6'5", 250. Great size, <laughs> prototypical linebacker, and we didn't pay him. Not because they, they thought he was a scrub, but we didn't pay him. So we go with the undersized 6'1", give or take, 215, cover linebacker that can actually do everything that a DB can do and then come in and play some linebacker. That's You're not afraid to come in and get in the dirt. Yo, Terrell Bernard was out everywhere today, bro. No, oh, he was an absolute monster. Buddy, two sacks. An athletic, acrobatic interception today. I was like, yo, this guy got up. Like, your vert was up there. And on top of that, this dude recovered the fumble. He was all over the fucking field today. What the fuck? Like, what happened? Yo, this, this guy literally made Christian Kirk say, I'm out. Dog, He's that's pissed. exactly what it was. He was like, oh, nah, I'm not playing. Nah, there's no way. And you want me to be on scout team, man? Fuck y'all, man. I'm out of here. First thing that comes to my mind is, this is why we let go of your man Edmonds. Like, He's doing everything Edmonds can do and better. That's what you really should have said. Because it's like, dog, we've never seen a game like this from Edmonds ever in the five years he's been here. So it's like, yo, huge shout out to Bernard, man. It was, again, it was a historic performance all the way around, big fella, including Bernard. Yeah, I mean, that was arguably one of the best games from a linebacker in who knows how long. Honestly, I got to send out my apology as well because... I mean, I was not a Bernard believer at all. I thought he was too slow. I thought that, you know, teams would game plan uh, like running backs and tight end. And I, I thought he couldn't cover. And it's my my apologies. I got I to gotta get one of them forms, but <laughs> make it official. But, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's looking good. Past couple of weeks, he's been good. So we'll see how he, how he does moving forward. Now, now here's the thing though, too, though, because I was thinking, oh, all right, you you play nice right now, until we and, and it's a, it's all about matchups, right? Until you get a run heavy team, like like the like the Ravens, you play a Ravens team, you know they're gonna run the ball like crazy, and your undersized, you know, what I'm saying self is gonna get washed up because these guys, you know, what I mean they really get after it on that. So I'm looking at the the rest of the teams that we gotta play that run the ball heavily. I mean, Dolphins they ran the ball very well today. A chain and Mostert were running wild, so we're gonna see how that plays. That's gonna be our first big test on on running the football. And and Armstead is healthy. I think he was active today, so yeah. they got their linemen back on top of that. So they're nice. And then the Jaguars. I mean, the Jaguars just took an L to the Houston Texans. So I don't know what's going on over there in Jacksonville. And then obviously you got the Giants after that, and we should be able to take care of the Giants. But Dolphins. Oh. It's all about the Dolphins right now. And man, it's Terrell all- Bernard, man. He came to play today. He came to play, and it shut a whole lot of people up. And Bills fans better not come here and be like, told you he was going to be good. Shut up. You didn't know he was going to be good either. You guys did not know he was going to be good. So I don't want to hear shit about, oh, I told you that. No, 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 no. You don't get to to pull that card. We're all apologizing. I think Rico's mad that he wasn't the one that said, oh, yeah, he was going to be good. You late, big fella. Catch up. 
<laughs> Listen, man, I was I was indifferent. I was like, yo, I could care less if it's Bernard or not. Uh, but I will say this though, Terrell Dotson, yo, he effed up the bag, man. He had his opportunity. Dotson had his opportunity and and he didn't take full advantage of it. You know what's Crazy. wild though is that is that <laughs> this game was so dominating that there's no real point of even talking about it. It's like, yo, it's on to Miami right now. Like, not, not yet. Listen, not yet. You know well, how we try to always figure out, you know, you're bad. There's nothing bad about this game, fellow. We dominated it. I mean, I mean, we we still can, we still could talk about. I mean, Bobby, you got anything you want to touch on? All right. First of all, that that apology form, you might want to print a couple more out because Spencer Brown is getting there. Uh oh, he's getting there. <laughs> he Not did yet. have a good game today. He did have a good yeah. game today. He did. He did. He, he got did. a little bit of help, but. His one on ones, he did really good. The offense kind of fell asleep midway through. Y'all didn't do that. The offense fell asleep. I mean, we didn't score for like I, you know what? Yeah, we did because it was a low. The offense was a low. Yo, Kit, listen, I gotta get this off my chest. Kit, Ken Dorsey with these stupid jet sweeps. Yo, get rid of it. And I bring the jet sweep up, sweep up because I feel like we're not utilizing Deontay Hardy the way we should. No, how are you supposed to use him? He's been bumming it every week. And I that's, it that's for week. Ken Dorsey to figure out. Can figure it out, man. Can do, big fella. This is what you can do. He's not him. He's, <laughs> he's done nothing for us so far. That's okay. That's a negative right there. Hardy is probably the only player on the roster that has yet to do anything. Because coach doesn't know how to use him. You brought his ass over you. You know his limitations. He's not 6'4. Frida, come go. He's not 6'4. So you know what? Find listen, find a way to figure out how to use this guy. A little receiver screen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a little hook, something. Like, God, Lee is killing me that they just jet sweep. Like, that's how we're gonna get him to touch the ball. I love the effort, but like this might not be that might not be the play for him. I don't know. Or just they just chose listen, the wrong time to do it. But I, I still am holding out hope. Then there's no need for you. Because that's the oh, only thing man. we need you for. I feel not I, don't want, I don't want to get to that realization. I feel like yeah, he's yeah, still gonna over. be a huge asset. It's over. Dorsey, 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 Dorsey is not trying to hear it. Isabella. Oh my Andy Isabella, like, relax. I mean, listen, <laughs> I, I can't say relax. Maybe maybe <laughs> it's time for Andy Isabella. It's I don't time. know. It's time. Nah, relax. That might be true. <laughs> not, not gonna tell you time. He said he says it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, man. It's time. But yeah, yeah man, before I mean, before we move off of that, um, this this commander's team and this bills, I think the win. What does the win do for us? Right? We knew they weren't going to be good, but what does the win do for us? Is this was this a, a win that's a confidence booster? Is that what are you feeling like that? No. Or it wasn't good enough for it to be a confidence booster. That's a good, that's a good question, right? Because it's like we expect it to come out here and, and do, you know, similar to what we did. We didn't expect a complete domination like this. A domination, it kind of it does something different. It does something different because, you know, going into, you know, a Miami game and them scoring 70, it does feel good knowing, okay, our defense is capable of shutting everybody out. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week, man. And here's the thing, too. Next, fuck it. We're on to Miami, man. We're on to Miami because it got me, it got me thinking. You got me, you got me thinking right now because I'm thinking, I, I just saw a picture of Vic Fangio and Miami's defense typically. They're excuse me. They they usually play man to man, don't they? Yep. And I don't know if Van, if Fangio is a man to man type of defensive coordinator. And Miami has in the past been a man to man team, and we've always torched them. So like, could this be the game where this is the Kincaid game, where whoever you're matching on this guy, it's a wrap. It's gonna be it's gonna be problematic. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be something, man. Because Kincaid is going to eat. Now, before we... And listen, I, side note. I got to get into this. Did you guys see the milk call today? The milk check? No, I didn't. No. Bobby, did you see I the milk check today? In chat, but I missed it. Yeah. I missed oh, my. It. He, didn't, he didn't say milk check. But it was apparent the milk check was there because he, he gave... It was so milk check. Okay, Barton <laughs> is the linebacker. Barton was the linebacker that was covering James Cook. And James Cook, just all he did was... Went up the middle like a fake handoff, turned around. The ball was right there. I was like, that's a milk check right there. <laughs> he didn't even look at anything else. He just said, milk check. I'm giving it to Cook. And Cook 
got what 10 yards on that thing. No problem. Y'all gotta go back and see that milk check. Josh oh, Allen God. called the milk check. <laughs> he did. <laughs> and for those that are wondering what the hell a milk check is, I ain't even gonna tell y'all. Just go and type in milk check and then put Josh Allen's name next to it on Google. You'll find out for yourself. And then y'all come back and laugh with us. <laughs> milk check was apparent. But anyway, this Dolphins, I don't know if you guys saw this, man. I don't know who scored. I don't know which which motherfucker scored on that squad. But Tua, the linemen, they got in line together and they're doing the uh, 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 and putting, kicking their legs out <laughs> all in unison. I was like, you got to be and feeling Tua good. was leading the way. Oh, yo, they're mighty comfortable. Yo, they're real comfortable right now. Yo, they're they partying in Miami. They are mighty comfortable. You deserve at least a nice, good 24-hour stretch of just you feeling real comfortable until you realize, okay, okay, okay. we're still playing the damn fact. fucking daddies in the damn division. No, that is a fact. Listen, you got 24 hours. <laughs> and hey, better, enjoy that shit. You better enjoy it for 24 hours because we coming. We coming. So let me see what they did today. They said, so Tua, Tua, did, Tua went 23 for 26. Where the fuck was the defense for the damn Broncos, man? What the hell? This brother went 23 for 26, 300 yards, 12 yards a pop, four touchdowns, no interceptions, no sacks, with a 155.8 rating. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's Get out crazy. of here. Okay. Action. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Yo, two, two is MVP right now, bro. Facts. As far as right now, he is. Yeah. Yo, two is MVP. I agree. I got to take a shot right there for that one right there. But no, take a shot right there. Take a <laughs> shot. This guy, he's back to that bullshit again. You see that, Bobby? Oh, yeah. You see the way you took a shot there? <laughs> okay, fucking took it like this. Yo, man, but listen, man, listen. Listen. <laughs> Yo, but 22 as far as the matchup? For 26? You, feel as as the matchup? you feel good about the matchup? Let's just be real about it, man. Ain't nobody care about the damn stats as far as the matchup. Man, how do you feel we match up with... What they bring to the table, bro. Here, let me tell you what the I did, I'm looking at the stats right now. Did you see what they did in the run game? <laughs> two or two <laughs> for 300 yards. The run game in Miami, 350 yards rushing. Devin A chain, 18 carries, 200 yards. I had him on my bench in fantasy. Shame no. on me. Nah, listen, it's Broncos, carries, the 200 yards. Thing. He busted one out for 67 yards rush. He had two touchdowns. Raheem Mostert, 13 carries, 82 yards, six yards of pop, three touchdowns. Chris Brooks got into that bitch with 66 yards rushing. Bro, Miami Dolphins are on fire. Yo, Rico, are you picking the Dolphins or Bills right now? Quick, now. No. Who are you going? <laughs> Yo, I got to pick the Bills, man. I got to pick the Bills. I can't, I can't, I can't pick Miami. I can't. I can't pick Miami. No, you can't. Hell no. I can't pick Miami. And even if I was like, oh, my, my, even, even on my paperwork where I did my, uh, I said, we're going to split with Miami, but we're taking the first one. We're taking the right. first one. We're at home. We need that. And for whatever reason, I think we play, we play. To, to win the games. games. Yeah, go ahead. Play to win the game. <laughs> Ah. You're fucking right, man. And this is the one that we are going to win. We got to win this one. We have to win this one. You know right, right. They're mighty. They are mighty confident. Tyreek Hill, nine receptions for 150 yards. 11 targets. Even Chosen Anderson. Well, Robbie Chosen, whatever the fuck they want to call that dude, man. He had a big reception for 68 yards. Raheem Mostert had seven catches. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. You over here, you really gassing them up at this point, Rico. Listen. Bro, they had a monster <laughs> game today. You got to talk about that you know shit, man. Saying, like, oh, my God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I understand, I understand, I understand. Yo, 350 yards <laughs> rushing, though? Come on. Wild. <laughs> that shit is bad. That's more. They had more fucking rushing yards than than the damn commanders had total yards today. Come on, man. Yeah, but you know what is wild? You have the Cardinals, right? 21 to 10 on the Cowboys? Now, nah, that's something that you exactly you're not necessarily expecting that shit. <laughs> Yo, the so, NFL is a fucked up place, man. It's funny. But listen, I think what happened today was it was a varsity versus JV. 
right? So the only difference is that it's varsity versus varsity next week, right? It, it, it's going to be a big game. It's it's one of those it, games it where it's like, like Oregon like, versus Colorado. It's kind of like that. Nah, nah. Mm. that's how it was today. Shit, today it was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we I was, was Oregon, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it's going to be a good game, man. It's going to be a good game. It all comes down to McDermott. What kind of game plan is McDermott going to draw up? And like we said before the Raiders game, we said like, you know what? McDermott, they've, they've come up with good game plans to shut down the running game. What they do, yep. they shut down Josh Jacobs. Yep. Now, again, they've came up with good game plans to kind of shut down or at least slow down Tyreek Hill. Yep. That's what yeah. you really got to do because he, he's going absolutely nuts. You have to shut down Hill. All right. Do you activate Kyrie Elam next week? No. I actually like that point. Pierre said no. I actually like that point that you, you said in the post game. You got to. I think I think you activate Kyrie because you need the speed. You do. You do. Because we don't have it. We don't have it. Trey White ain't that dude. Sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing though? Like, what are you doing with Kyrie? Are you taking well, you, in for, like certain like certain packages you're taking out? Arguably our best DB. Arguably. Arguably right now. That's a good I point. I mean, Benford has been balling. It's tough. You, 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 you got to, man. At one point, you got to because, like, it's not like you can't, you can't just put, put him in just for man-to-man. You got to you gotta put him in some some plays here and there. Yeah. Because, like, even on that deep thirds, we need him to get the deep thirds because he's already bailing anyway. So you right. get him on deep thirds, at least he's, he's there. Mm-hmm. And we always keep Tyreek in front of us. We've, we're a better tackling team. We've improved a little bit. I mean, it didn't look like it a couple times today, but we've we've improved a little bit. But golly, man, we got Ky- this is the game that Kyrie comes in because if he doesn't, though, here's the here's the other question though. If you don't activate him, that's gonna be four weeks straight that you that you punk his ass off and you put him on the deactivation list. So now what you're doing with him? What are you doing with him, man? Yeah, I was asking that question before the game. Like, okay, what's the move here? Like, what are we doing with him at this point? Because I mean, a first round draft pick, you you don't normally see them inactive every damn week are we going to trade him but listen if he's not going to be active like you said if it doesn't happen this next week then it's probably not going to happen all season unless you know something else happens because i mean are you going to put dane is is he going to jump dane so it's just like i don't know i don't know oh uh, listen man it's something's got to give because we got we got a perfectly good healthy cornerback sitting on the sideline former first rounder that's got all the traits that that we need. And plus, don't get me wrong, and he's the one who played in the Miami playoff game and got a Facts. crucial interception. He did. He did. Being in the right place, right time. But That's as of right now, though, we have the number one defense in the NFL. The number one as far as scoring defense, if, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Do we? I think so. Right? Because we, we've oh. only allowed, what, 35 points? 35 points we've allowed. Yeah, total, right? Total. So I think, I think the, the, the Dallas Cowboys might be number one, but... Okay. Okay, but 35, I mean, five. The, the Cleveland Browns are at thirty-two points allowed. They're actually playing a very good. And then you got Kansas City Chiefs. have only allowed thirty. I mean, they're they're going to play a second game, a third yeah. game, thirty points. And then uh, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys are the number one scoring defense. Top three. Yeah, they're they're the number one. Five. But we're we're top five for sure. Top five, right? So it's like okay, it's it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it at this point, right? So it's like it, it's going to be hard for us to. You know, for me to feel comfortable with changing up anything because it doesn't yep. seem like we have, you know, many weaknesses right now on our defense. Like there's zero we weakness. We're a top five defense, top top five True. scoring defense. You know what I mean? Like even if you try to find a weakness, it's like it's hard to find it. Like okay, is it Benford? Is it, it, it is it Trey White? Because he hasn't been. I mean, okay, he had a pick, so it's like shit. Where's the damn? Is it is it is the middle linebacker? Because you can make an argument that Benford is the best linebacker as far as the first three weeks, even though Milano's been fucking amazing as well. So it's like, dog, where's the weakness? I don't see it. Don't start that homer shit. No, I'm asking you the question. Where's the weakness if you were to find one the, right now? The weak, honestly, the weakness, it's it's our it's our linebacking. I would say I would say between linebacker and uh and corner. Really? Corner it's the corner, it's a cornerback spot, man. That's but, our weakness. But how? Like but because we have a we have yeah, an inexperienced corner at, at cornerback two, right now he's playing off of, of obviously he's playing we're playing him off potential. But if if you're okay, this is yeah, how you no, answer. No, 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 no. 
is right now, though, Rico. As far as I know, right now, right now, this is how you answer your own question. You're an offensive coordinator, and you wanted to attack this Bills defense. Where would you attack? You'd go at Benford. Actually, better yet, I would go at Trey White. Has it worked? Well, I mean, uh, that pass rush has been 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 fierce. So, but even when really you did have a chance, it's this. four picks. So I know, I know. It's hard, it's hard to say, but he might have the idea because okay, okay, the guy didn't, you know, you know, Benford doesn't really. But at the end of the day, they've been executing, and, I, and I'm I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at the the I guess what, what if I'm an offensive coordinator where I'm attacking? I mean, Bobby, would you run the football knowing that our, we're susceptible to taking on big runs, or would you, would you air it out? Do you trust our linebackers, or are you going at one of the corners? To me, it's corners. That's our weakness. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna do a little bit of both, obviously. But yeah. I mean, if I'm if I'm trying to attack the Bills' defense, I want speed, and I'm gonna use that speed, and that's scary. It is. I think it's scary for Bills. You got two safeties that, you know, on Madden they're probably running what, at 82 speed. Honestly, right. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Trey White. Wait, I don't know. I mean, 87, 87 for sure. Yeah, he dropped like 87 40. speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't just sit back there and play zone all day. You can't because they're gonna pick you apart. Look, look what they did. They never did the same thing. Yeah, you can't do that. Yep, you're so, absolutely I mean, right. That's a bit scary, but you know, it's McDermott. So hopefully, he he has a good game plan that we don't know. <laughs> he better. Do you have any idea? Listen, I have no idea how you're going to stop the Dolphins. He can probably go ahead and sit there and say, listen, I mean, you know, we've been playing this way the you know, first three weeks to see if it works again. But the Tua-led offense and how they play, that offense is normally geared to dissect zone coverages. So it's going to be interesting to see how, you know, McDermott plays this one, man. And you know what? There, There is a curse at play. You guys know the curse, right? What's that? Every team... That faces the Broncos the next week, they lose. Oh, just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yo, Bart, yo, speaking of football guys, yo, how you how y'all feel about Bart Scott? What he uh what he said at ESPN. Wait, was he out of line or was like, man, come on, man. Everybody, everybody's overreacting. I thought it was low. So, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a low blow. You thought it was like, low blow? Was no real need. I mean, there was no real need. Because again, I've I've never been a fan because I've always been big on karma. Like, I'm a big karma guy, right? So I feel like, listen, if I'm going to throw jokes at your guy getting injured, I feel like my guy about to get injured the very next week. So it's like, nah, man. It was it was kind of low on his part, but I mean, it's all about the clicks at the end of the day, I guess. We're going to get the clicks. Yeah. I don't know, but I mean, we gonna I get guess the clicks was, <laughs> I don't know if the clicks is worth it because the, I bet you Bart Scott is on thin ice right now. They're probably like, yo, what are you bringing to the table, bro? Facts. Because <laughs> the fans don't f with you, you know what I'm saying, and and you just keep making blunder after blunder, bro. Like, how long are we gonna we gonna keep your ass here, bro? But when he said, like Stephen A. said, Stephen is like, whoa, 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 don't don't put me in this. <laughs> oh, chill, dog. That, nah, that, that's all you, motherfucker. That ain't yeah. me. He goes that's like my man Stephen A. says, they're bound to f up somewhere, or they're about to lose something somewhere. I don't know, something stupid like that. But but Bart Scott, man. Yeah, but Stephen, they put a deal quick. You're like, no, nah, no, nah, hold on. Okay, okay. You violated right there, big fella. You violated. A lot of things have changed in a decade. That's that's what's cool. It's cool to say something really fucking stupid and that makes no sense and just pure hate. That's cool to do. Facts. It, that's it's like a thing. You, that's a society thing about everything. So it I mean thing, people, people be saying stuff out of, out of pocket, and and that's that. Yeah. But here's the thing though: when you say some out of pocket shit. Be ready to get dealt with, you know what I'm saying, accordingly, because times are changing. Times are changing. You can't just say what you want now. Now people know how to find you. I mean, there's, there's, there are cats on the internet that can find your location. If I took a picture next to a fucking gas station with a Walmart behind me, there are cats that can, based on the soil next to him in that tree. Oh, that's like a, that's an alpine. Like they can figure out where this guy is at. So like. You can't be talking Greece now these days, boy. They, they'll find your ass. So I don't know if Bobby's one of those guys that can find people out of nowhere, but so he can find you. He can definitely find you. I can find you. <laughs> Absolutely. Easy. 
If anybody can find you, it's Bobby S. <laughs> but we you know a, what? I mean, you don't you don't see me online fighting with nobody. No, 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 no. Years ago. Years ago, yeah. I was a problem. I don't I don't do that anymore. You don't <laughs> see I was me a fighting problem. I know that shit. I don't I just don't have yo, but what about you, Pierre? You do you like do you get into that that Twitter stuff? I don't do social media beats, man, because it's just like <laughs> but why not though? Why not? <laughs> it all fake to me. Like it's all fake. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because it's like I never see in real life what I see online ever. Right. I go, you know, in real life, you know, you go to the stores, everyone's walking past me. Everyone's not really saying anything. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing. And but, but on social media is like everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Like it's not that serious, man. And it's, it's just, and it's like, who am I actually beefing with? Who's on the other end? So now here's my question to both of y'all, because it actually struck a nerve with me last week uh -oh. with the Dolphins fan that that passed away at the stadium. Oh, yes. Right. So you're with PJ. Bobby, you're with your lady. And somebody dumps beer on on your on PJ's head or dumps beer on your lady's head. Are you like to keep mm. in the peace? Are you like, no, nah, I ain't going to fight. Because I'm I always wonder what makes people actually get so damn serious that they gotta fight and they gotta throw hands. So, like really, they, it can't it can't be somebody just saying, Yo, your team sucks. Like, yo, go go back to Buffalo. It can't be that way. Nah, I mean, words like that, no. Yeah, so I'm assuming it has to be something so damn disrespectful that's got to make you turn around and go and face someone. So I'm thinking, all right, somebody dumps beer over your lady's head or over PJ's head. Are you saying, are you ignoring <laughs> that shit? Or are you like, oh, no, 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 we gonna fight. We gotta fight it out. We gonna figure some shit out. Knowing I mean, what, what you know now. Like. I'm talking about knowing what you know now. Let's say you want, you're going to a Bills game two weeks from now. Yeah. Right? You're go, you're, we're going to uh, Giants. We're going to, uh, hold on, the Bills and Giants game. All right? We're going to the Dolphins game next week. Let's just say that because it happened with the Dolphins fan, right? So facts. We're going to the Dolphins. The Dolphins are coming to Buffalo. You sitting there and somebody dumps beer on your shit. Are you ignoring it, knowing what you know, and say, you know what? As pissed off as I am, and as as much as I want to rock your ass right now, it's not worth it. Or no, 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 you ain't gonna disrespect my family like that. You going there's consequences for that shit. Let's go. Let's throw. We throwing down. Which which what route are you taking? Knowing what you, what you know now, Bobby. I want your answer I mean, first. It it really depends like how it goes down. Like was it was it an accident? No, it was purposely if done. If it was an accident, if it was an accident, I would let it pass. Honestly, because yeah, I mean, ain't nobody trying to pay hospital bills. But if it was on yeah, purpose, I mean, I'm that's gonna true. turn around and see what that motherfucker looks like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna tell me a lot. <laughs> it's gonna tell me a lot. He's he's six four two sixty. <laughs> he's ah. there. Oh, he a big boy. Yeah. You good? Yeah. You good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> he said you good. <laughs> Yo, did you want me to repl you want me to replenish that beer for you? What what was it? A Coors Light? Or was it was a Bud Light. Which one? I'll go get you one, boss. I'll be right back. <laughs> nah, but I think I think it's more so. As far as men, it's always about the next move, right? It's like okay, you do something, and the first thing you do is look and see. Okay, was that serious <laughs> situation? Right. Okay. Oh, so you exactly. disrespecting right now? Okay. At that <laughs> point, it's like. Oh, you the ego's involved. The ego's involved. Like, in here. I'm 6'4", 262, motherfucker. Like, we can do this if you want to, right? So it's just like you, you get all them feels in you, but it's always about the next move. If the next move's like, oh, I'm sorry, then all right, fine. You know, you know what I mean? It, but if you're trying to disrespect just because, I guess knowing what we know now, having my kid there, of course you want to, you know, try to act like an adult. Right, but it's it's tough. It, it's a tough question, man, because it's like how many beers that I have, right? Is you know, man. It, and whatever that's why happened, I asked the question because like you gotta be, it was unfortunate. You gotta be like to get into a fight because you're just trying to enjoy yourself at a at a game yeah. with my son or with my with my 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 wife or with my you know what I'm saying my daughter or whatever the case is. Because I'm thinking to myself too, if somebody poured beer on my daughter's head. 
That's gonna be and rough. And talking big shit. I have yeah. to avenge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or have to protect. <laughs> oh, because you get into protection mode. Oh shit. So you gotta you we gotta talk about it. But then you turn the other cheek and say, you know what, it's not even worth it. Now your kids looking like you worthless people. I thought you I thought you were there to protect me. Nah, now, if you raise your kids right, they ain't going to do that. Exactly. I'm about to say that. Nah, <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> I put you in that position because I'm like, yo, all this fighting that be happening in these, these days, what the, what's for? Yeah. Yo, let's just enjoy the game and just do this game because I'll tell you, I guarantee you, the players are just like, yo, they're, they're kicking and laughing with the opposite team. The game is over. They're, yo, yo, what club we hitting up today? Oh, da, 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 da. Meanwhile, you bozos are fighting in the stands. I just can't understand that shit, boy. Miami, is Miami coming to Buffalo? Yo, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be three and no Miami Dolphins and a two and one Bills. That's game of the week. Has it's the first place in the AFC East. Bro, that's, that's game, game of the week next week. That's game of the week. That's game of the week. And it's and 2 it's, p.m. So yeah. we, it's, it's going to be lit. You know, the, the barbershop is going to be lit after that. It's on my birthday, too. So you already know it's going to be a, a wild game. A wild game. Nice. Yo, speaking of birthdays, his wife's birthday tomorrow. Nice. I got Labor. no idea. I did not even plan shit. I didn't do. I think I just might take it a breakfast tomorrow. Okay, I like that. It's, it's always about enough. the thought. Man. It's always about the thought, man. It's not good enough, man. Bobby's it's the Bobby's the romantic. Here. He's the hopeless. The the romantic oh, yeah. hope here. Bobby, what do you what do you think, bro? I mean, it's a damn good week because my birthday is on Wednesday. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three, oh yeah, you guys have close enough. birthdays. It's a week. Yeah. Listen, that's solid, uh, <laughs> yeah. baby. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, the fourth, the twenty fifth. Yo, what is your twenty seventh? Yep, twenty seventh. And then my 27th. my cousin and my best friend, one of my one of my good friends, uh, his is the 29th, Both of them on the 29th. What are you guys, Libras? Yeah, yes, sir. What's your yes, weak sir. ass Libras? All right, yeah, you into that stuff. Stuff. <laughs> the whole stuff. Are oh, you into that stuff? I'm not. Even, I'm no, not I'm not into that stuff. I'm not. I'm yeah. not into that stuff. But I, I, I am, but I'm not because I'm a Scorpio. I mean, and they say Scorpio is always bagging people's bitches and shit, and we sexual as shit, and we no bagging bitches. We that dude. That's what the score. That's what they say. About Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Now, whether it's true or not, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Hey, you tell me. You still bagging bitches? <laughs> nah, man. I, mean, I hung my cleats up long ago. I hung my cleats up long ago, man. But yeah, man. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm thinking. I brought those things up because, like, that Dolphins game is gonna be heated. People are gonna be talking shit. You know that that dude, Nikki Smokes, is probably gonna be at that game. Nikki Smokes. Yo, man, he was trying to beat that smoke, game. Man. So it should be, it Yo, should be ill. The transformation of my guy. Listen, I know a lot of fans want to hate my man. It is what it is. I remember right after he made that video, I, I specifically remember I hit him in the DM and said, listen, you have to stay with the villain mode. You cannot say you have to stay the villain. And Do not out. apologize. That's fucked that apologize. you said that because I hit him up because we, <laughs> we met maybe a, a month prior to that. Uh, on the podcast on the AFC East Roundtable podcast, and he was on there. And he's been, I've been waiting to go at your ass because I've been hearing you. And I'm like, so then we got to talking and talking smack. And then when I, it's funny you said that too because I was like, yo, don't apologize for nothing okay. because you're a fan. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're supposed to fan. Don't like you know what I mean. Like you bumped in, you bumped into the brother. You didn't mean anything. You didn't try to, you know, beef to do. You bumped in. Oh shit, my bad. That's it. Keep it moving. You don't got to apologize. Buffalo, yo, Bills fanatics. Fanatics. Bill's Mafia people make people just feel you know, they feel some type of way. I'm going to the game cast for Dolphins Bills next week. So right now they have the Bills at a 56.3% chance to win for the matchup predictor. So they have us on the edge. And I think the edge is given to us clearly because it's a home game for us. So that that's that's the reasoning behind it. But it should be good weather. Apparently it's gonna be sixty-two degrees or sixty-two Fahrenheit for you guys. I don't know if that's that's pretty that's pretty warm for you guys. Is sixty-two? Yeah. No, eighty I mean, is really eighty is warm. So sixty-two is around like I mean, cool. You're gonna feel a little breeze. You're gonna feel a little breeze. Yeah, yeah. sixty-two is a bit is a bit breezy for you guys. All right. Respect. Yeah. Just looking at the team stats together, yards we're averaging two hundred and forty yards passing. These guys are averaging three sixty in the air. So you know they're gonna air the ball out. Rushing, they're averaging a buck eighty-eight. Golly, they're rushing a buck. Are they the number one offense right now? They got to be the number one offense right now. A I think buck so. Eighty-eight passing, got to be uh, rushing, and we ours is a buck forty-nine rushing. 
Yards allowed 275, yards allowed 390. So this is where Allen can really cook if he needs to because they're susceptible to getting some. That's what I'm saying. So this is like at the end of the day, we have to question who the – listen, again, 70 points is 70 points, but you still have to look at who the Dolphins really faced. Yep. You can make an argument that all three of them teams aren't good. They're just – I mean, the Broncos are probably the worst team in the league. The Chargers probably lost again, I think, today. So it's like, dog, it's – Oh, they won, they won, they won, they won. They won today, but yeah, you know won. what I mean? So, I mean, who Yard, knows? Man? It's going to be an interesting us, game. Man. Yards rushed allowed, 110, which I think we should be lower. We got to get better with that. And uh, 165 yards passing. That's what we're allowing. So they're 230 allowed and 160. So they're allowing about 160 yards rushing on offense. So as far as on paper, we should be able to do exactly what we've been doing. And, and on paper, the Dolphins might not do what they've been doing to everybody else. That's what the paper is telling me. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're about to I we're mean, about to find out what's really good. When you put up seventy points, do you think that that could be a little fluky? Of course. I mean, of course. I want to watch the game. So yeah. Now hold on a minute. This this running back a chain. Yeah, a chain. He had five yards rushing before this game. He was hurt. That's just that's interesting. He was hurt. And he was not, hurt, and he 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 was he came in. He played a little bit last week. Okay, I mean, so he's a superstar to... out of nowhere. <laughs> 200 yards. Out of nowhere, right? Well, listen, where did, where did they draft A-Chain, though? They, they drafted him pick. pretty – didn't they draft him pretty high or no? It doesn't matter oh. where he was drafted. But, but Shit, he was no, a third-round but... pick? Yeah, they drafted him pretty high, man. I didn't know that. So this ain't, this ain't no joke. And he's – what he's and he's, a, he's not a big guy, too. He's 5'9", one buck 88. So he's, he's pretty much the same size as James Cook. <clears throat> Speaking of James Cook, James Cook had another pretty decent game today. The guy is just, he's got, he's got, the one thing that I I do appreciate about him is he ain't going to run your ass over. He ain't going to do all that stuff, but he's so fluid in his movements. Like he don't waste, he don't, he don't waste like movements, man. He just tick, tick. And if he can find a crease and he can hit it, he can be gone. I just like a little bit more toughness off of him. But for the most part, man, not bad. If James Cook, if he didn't get that last carry, would you still have said that? Mm. Mm. That last carry made his entire yardage. No, yeah. but he was playing pretty decent before, even before the that that carry. I, and I, I take into account last game too. Well, we're about to find out if uh, if 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 Josh is going to do what Josh does next week. Because sometimes when Josh does what he does, what do you call it? Remember who we have. Nah, <laughs> he's, just, he's just Josh, baby. He's just, oh, he's just Joshin. Yes, sir. He's just, just Joshin, man. Yo, that yep. that caption of the finger roll. I don't know if you can capture that, Bobby. I don't know if you can cut it out if it'll look good with the finger roll. Yo, D, yo, you think do you think uh Colorado can cl- they can come back from this, by the way? Because they got fucking smacked. They got smacked. Yeah, but real I think they're going to give a, at least a better a better effort. They yeah. got absolutely smacked, man. But I bet you Dion's like, okay, now you see what it's like to really be playing some competition. There it is. So yeah. for you boys that think that y'all y'all are good enough, there's some boys that are bigger and better. I bet you that's the, that's the type of speech he probably gave those boys. And then by next year when he recruits the, the dudes that he wants. But now he's now going to a different conference, though. I love what Deion said after the game. He says, listen, you better go ahead and get me now because it's going to be the worst I'm going to be. Because, again, once he knows it after the season, everyone's coming here. Y'all going to get the scraps. So go ahead and get me now. (laughs) Yeah. Get your licks in. (laughs) It's about to be on. It's about to be on, big fella. Get your licks in. That's right, man. He right, though, man. Get your licks in now. I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the big boys that you guys are going, and then it's gonna be a problem. You know what I hate? For? I hate Man. when people call people bandwagon fans, right? Because I'm like, dog, if you look at it, if you weren't really, you know, bred into the team, everyone's a bandwagon fan. Shit, I was a bandwagon fan. I slept on the team when they were in the Super Bowls, bitch. You know what I mean? I just happened to stay on the motherfucking train. You but stayed on the train, you bandwagon see? fans, fella. We're all bandwagons at the end of the day, fella. Bro, I don't even know how the fuck we we would have been able to do content creation like the way we're doing it now. When the Bills were fucking losing from 0-3 on. <laughs> My fuck, man. 
Like it was already a challenge with EJ Manuel from from going forward, and we thinking we got it. No, we don't. We think we got it. No, we don't. But like doing it from like the old three days, oh four, oh five, was like fam content creation doing that shit then. Oh god, but what a fucking mess. You gotta take advantage because I think we're shutting this shit down as soon as Josh Allen leaves, big fella. So it's like <laughs> I was about to say. I was thinking the same thing, bro. When Josh Allen leaves, I'm not. Yeah. Way you fucking start over. <laughs> We fucking starting all over, man. We got a roof for a new quarterback. Can you imagine? Go through it again? Fuck. Can you imagine going to a Super Bowl and losing? Oh, shit. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. I don't want to imagine it. Do you think that this could very well be the most, you know, dangerous of all the Bills teams we've had in the Josh Allen era? It has to be. We haven't been this complete. Maybe last year's. No, I'll take this year. I'll take this year over last year. Right? Because, I mean, I was thinking about year. it earlier today. I was thinking about it earlier today, and I kind of reference it to Madden. I want to say in my in my early 30s, I had a good, I want to say, four or five-year stretch where I was a Madden junkie, big fella. Like, it was, I was in practice mode. I was doing my thing. And Rico knows. You know what I mean? I was, you know, I was him. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like, I realized that what worked best for me is – I ran everything out of the same formation. You had no idea what I was going to do on the very next play because it was always the same formation. So I was no you know Madden player when you can stick in one formation and you fucking auto left, right, center, and fucking shifting everybody to do different types right, of shit. Right, all day long it was always the same fucking formation. Yep. And it seems like right now what the Bills are doing, you know, with twelve personnel, you know, we're showing this is a running type of formation. Yet we're. St- we're still being able to dial up in that formation. And it just feels as if, you know, Josh Allen for, I want to say what the last fucking two or three years, he's always had the mentality. Like, I'm not going to take what the defense give me. I'm going to take whatever I want to take. I don't give a damn. I'm taking it where now it's like, okay, big fella. If you don't be that reckless and just focus on what the defense is giving you, we literally can't be stopped. Yeah, because you know that you can take it if you want to. That's what makes us dangerous, in my opinion. Like, dog, yep. we're a complete team now. We can beat you any type of way right now, and no, that's what's scary. Right now. That's scary. And once he masters it, that's what I'm saying. Once he, he masters to- it, then he's then he could just play with anybody. Yeah, he could, he could be Tom Brady for fuck's sake. One hundred percent. Master that shit. He's still young. He's still young in his head though. Facts. Facts. Back. This guy almost yeah, fucking man. flopped on the on the sideline. Hey, I'm like, Josh, get up, fuck. Get up with that <laughs> flop shit. Get the fuck up. Oh, yo, he almost pulled it off. Yo, I know he, he almost pulled it off. He almost did. I was <laughs> no, like, yo, you hanging out with Haley too damn much, man. Get the fuck up, man. You ain't, yo, a, you ain't an actor yet. Oh, he, yo, he flopped at the perfect time. Oh, like, oh, fuck. And that's why that's why motherfuckers don't like this guy. Be like, yo, you're too big for that shit. Get the fuck hey. up. <laughs> hey, if that shit would have worked, you would have been clapping like shit, though. I know that. <laughs> oh, shit, you too big yeah. for that shit, man. Get the fuck up, man. He pulls it off sometimes too. He, he does. He does, man. But I mean, most of the time, right? No, nah, he does. He, yeah, he, yeah, he does. He gets it. But like now they're onto his shit. They're onto him now. So now there's whatever. But I'm going to say this though, wait, before I get out of here, the fucking old line played fucking good today. They had a, they, like, it wasn't like they were going up against scrubs on the front four. And the fact that Bobby was like, yo, you got to give, listen, get that yo, apology wrote. No, nope, ready for that to Spencer Brown. Because Spencer Brown was all right today, man. Spencer Brown did all right. No. Deion Dawkins, the last two games has been playing was, fucking lights was, out, man. He's been lights out. He's been lights, lights out. out, man. It was like even if you had the perfect defense, the line collapses. You're covering everybody. You almost have the quarterback. He can still be able to break that pocket first down. He did it a Dude, couple he's, times. He's it's like, like I mean, you can't. Yep. Three, three three occasions no this game. <laughs> three occasions that game. He fucking seemed up the middle. Seemed like up the middle. Pressure stepped up the pocket. Stepped up the pocket. I'm out first. Every time, oh. it's like, yo, we're it's kind of demoralizing as a, as a as a defense. You think you got it all, and you're like, oh, damn it, yeah, man. Hey, my man Zeke, what's, what's up, up my boy? Hey, what's up? Say hi. What's up, buddy? Hey, bye bye. Hey, go Bill. Hey, you gotta say it. Say bye bye. Yes, okay, that's <laughs> it. He doesn't want to talk. You can say bye. Bye. There you go. Yay. There you go. Okay. Yeah.